only way we go is with Waco. All right, we find ourselves, me doing the cooking, Jace tells me he wants the night off. He wants to sit down, relax, have a cold beverage and do some fishing. Gotta get to all the luck. Doesn't matter, I think I'm up for the task. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cook you up a roast. It's got a nice piece of roast beef, with it, some veggies. Pretty simple. Now a lot of people when they're out camping sort of tend to not want to deal with all these, you know, luxury sort of meals and whatnot. But hopefully I can show you that it's not too hard and I'm gonna do it nice and easy. And while my roast is cooking, I'm gonna hopefully join Jace down the riverbank and have a throw. Just gonna put a few nice little incisions into our meat. Helps cook a bit better as well and faster. Now our first little ingredient tonight is gonna be a bit of garlic. Now, what's a roast without garlic? So we'll spoon plenty of that into those incisions. Just like so. Next, plenty of salt, a bit of olive oil mixed around with it. And I'll get to Jason's favourite ingredient, mate. I've got to always keep this boy happy. So a nice big helping of oil. Plenty of the good heart stuff. Basically just work that in until it's got a nice coating. Last ingredient, sugar. This is one of Jace's specialties. Believe it or not, when he first told me what he was doing, I thought, well, you're kidding me, mate. You're mixing up your desserts with your main meals. But believe me, it tastes really nice. So we'll douse that with some sugar too. Like so. Now that's pretty much ready for the camp oven. Now this camp oven, she's an absolute beauty, this one. It's got a few different sections to it. One there, there's an inside ring, which I'll show you what that's all about. And there's a nice big deep camp oven. The meat, I'll simply just put inside. We'll get that on the fire straight away. Then I can start prepping the veggies. Now that's the beauty of this little ring here. This little ring, I can place all my veggies on there at a latter date, so when the meat's sort of three quarters of the way cooked through, all the veggies can go in there, sit nicely on top, lid goes back on, and hopefully they're all ready together and I don't have any complaints. Dinner ready yet, Rotto? I'm getting there, champ. I'm getting there, mate. You how, just... long, how long, mate? How long? Because I want to go and do a little well, bit Well, this meat's going to take a good hour to cook, buddy. Now this camp oven here, it's not like the standard camp oven which is made of cast iron. This one here is actually made of black steel. It's a lot thinner, a lot lighter than the old traditional camp oven. Now you've got to be very careful not to actually burn the food. Being a lot thinner, you don't put too many coals on the bottom because that heat will generate straight through and actually burn the meat on the bottom. So when we're putting a layer on the bottom, it's just a nice thin, even layer, like so. Now you can see the style of lid there. It holds a lot of coals. Now this is where the actual camp oven gets its oven side of it. Basically all the heat on top, it just smoulders down through the camp oven and really acts as, a, as an oven. We'll check that in probably half an hour, just to keep an eye on it, because we've got to put those veggies in on top. Now's a good chance to go and get those ready. Let's do it. Meat smells good, it's slowly cooking. Now it's giving me prime chance to cut all these veggies up and I'll put them on that ring. First of all, we've just got a couple of onions, carrots, capsicum, potatoes. Now you'll probably notice that I'm actually keeping these veggies fairly solid. You don't want them to fall apart when they get all soft in the camp oven because that's exactly what they'll do. Now all the veggies are cut to perfection. We can stick some of the good stuff in. A bit of oil, be generous more of that heart starter gear, the old salt, maybe a few herbs, and of course, Jason's most favourite sweet stuff, sugar. So in about half an hour's time now, because that meat's cooking and I can still smell it, smells delicious, I'll actually place all these veggies on the ring inside the camp oven, so hopefully they all come out being ready together. That's my plan anyway. 
That looks superb. Lid straight back on top. And I'm out of here going fishing again. I'm coming, mate! Yoo-hoo-hoo! Ooh, yeah, Jace, it smells cooked. Oh, that looks good, Rotto. Oh, cut her up, put her on, I'll serve out some veggies and we're good. You can smell that garlic, can't you, mate? Oh, yeah. Infused is the big word that I use. Infused in garlic. Roasted. Well done, Rotto. Thanks, mate. I'm sitting down tomorrow. So what do I have to cook? <laughs> hmm, pizza. Oh, okay. Feel like pizza. Alright. Well done, Rotto. Thanks, mate. Thank you.